Good afternoon class. Today we are going to continue on interpretation of bar charts and pie chart. I will start with this question here. The pie chart here shows the proportion of money that four people, A, B, C, D, invest in a business. The pie chart also shows how the yearly profit is divided. This is your pie chart. A. If B invests 480,000 Naira, how much did each of the others invest? Now, the first thing you do to solve this problem is to get the angle for A. To get the missing angle for A, you remove 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees, 120 degrees, and 45 degrees from 360 degrees. That is, angles at a point. This is what you do. Angle for A will be 360 degrees minus. You removing this 45, 120, 90 from 360. Angles at a point. And this will give you 105 degrees. After that, you can get what A will get. What A gets over what B gets will be the same thing as angle for E, which is 105, over angle for B, which is 90. Remember, B gets 480,000. 105 degrees, then over 90 degrees. Now, when you make A your subject of formula, this form 180,000 multiplies this fraction here. So that A gives you 105 degrees all over 90 degrees times 480,000 naira. With this, when you use your calculator, you say 105 degrees times 480,000 over 90, it will give you 560,000 naira. That is what A will get. Similarly, if I want to know what C gets, you see what C gets over what B gets is the same thing as angle for C. Is the same thing as angle for C, which is 120, over angle for B, which is 90. What C gets over what B gets will be the same thing as angle for C, which is 120, over angle for B, which is 90. Already, they told us that B gets 480,000. Therefore, what you do is use this 480,000 to multiply this fraction, and it gives you your C. So C will get 120 degrees over 90 degrees times 480,000 naira. By the time you multiply this, you use 120 to multiply 480,000 and you divide it by 90, C will get 640,000 naira. Similarly, if I want to know what D will get, you see what D gets over what B gets is the same thing as angle for D, which is 45 over angle for B which is 90 just in a simple way like this that's what you do what d gets that's what we want to get what b gets which is 480,000 will be 45 degrees over 90 degrees this will multiply this fraction when you cross multiply so that d gets 45 degrees over 90 degrees times 408,000 which is half of 480,000 and that will give us 240,000 Naira. So, at the end of the day, A gets 560,000, B gets 640,000, and D gets 240,000. Moving to B, in the first year, the total profits were this. How much did A get? Now, for B, this is for A. If the total profit is 643,200, 
then profit for A will be angle for A, which is 105, over total angle, which is 360, times total profit, which is 643,200. When you do this multiplication, you discover that the profit for A will be 187,600 naira. That's, that's use this to multiply this and divide by 360. And with this, you get the profit for E. Now, another question I want us to consider is this one. This figure here is a figure showing a batcher comparing the cost of one carat diamond with the cost of one ounce of gold in five year intervals from 1960 to 1980. So the first question, what was the cost of a carat diamond in 1970? You come to your diagram. Look at it. 1970. This one, according to what you have here, this color is for diamonds. This one is for gold. So in 1970, when you check your scale here, see this something calibrated this way. We have 10 lines to make 500. So if you want to know what this first line will be, you say 500 over the number of lines, that's over 10. This will be 50. Next 100, 150, 200, in that order. So in 1960, when you see the car, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You multiply 50 by 5. And that will give you 250 naira. That is what diamond will be in 19. 70 that is your diamond will be 50 naira in five places which will be 250 naira in 1970 now what was the cost of one house of gold in 1975 see 1975 this color white is for gold one house of gold you count the number of lines to good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 of them. So for good in 1975, you say 50 naira in 12 places. And that gives 600 naira. That is in 1975. Your answer is 600 naira. That's what you have. Now, in 1980, what was the difference between the cost of one carat, a one carat diamond, and the cost of one ounce of gold? You go to 1980. Look at 1980. The difference between the, the gold and the diamond will be get gotten by counting the line between them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that difference is you multiplying your 50 naira by 8 and that is 400 naira in 1980 that's what you have it to be when you come to d in which year was the cost of one carat diamond double that of one ounce of gold now the year that the diamond is double that of gold in 1960 we have 100 gold why we have 150 is not double. In 1965, we have 100 gold. Why we have 200 diamonds? That is double. The answer is 1965. But for you to be sure, let's run through other years. In 1970, we have 1, 2, 3, 150 gold. Why we have 250 diamonds? That is not half. 250 is not double uh 150 when you come to this year we have 800 and uh, that's this is 500 one two we have 600 gold why the diamond is 750 750 is not double 600 when you come to this year we have 
1,850 gold, while here we have 2,250 diamonds. 2,250 2, diamonds is not half of this. So that year where you have the diamonds to be double the gold is in 1965 where we have 200 diamonds and we have 100 gold. So that year is 1965. That's your answer. Then the ratio of the cost of diamonds in 1970 to the cost in 1980 all you need to do is to get the cost of diamond in 1970 in 1970 cost of diamond look at it from here to here you can't one two three four five that's five times uh 50 which we already calculated to be 250 one in 1980 because of diamond there is from here to this place this is 2000 from here, 2000, 2050 naira, 2100 naira, 2150, 2200, 2250. So that ratio gives you 250. That's the one for 1972. That's the one you write for to 2250. Zero, we cancel zero. 25 year, 5 year, 5. 5 here, 4, remaining 2, the 2 joins this to be 25, which is 5, we are left with 5 over 45, 5 here, 1, 5 here, 9, and that will be 1 over 9, which is 1 ratio 9, this is how you answer this question, thank you.